And this one is a 1987 Mini Advantage, one of 2,500 produced, done 42,000 miles, but I think it has had a change on the speedo looking at that. Limited edition, engine rebuild in 2021 to the sum of 2,100 quid, gearbox refresh in 2020 for 500 quid. The shell is very nice. A few little blebs though, look. If you look, it's just starting to go on the edge of the roof. So the car is tidy and very solid, but not perfect. And on the seams where they go, you can just see it's just starting to need a little bit of love. So the other three cars I've showed you are all really incredibly tidy. This is more of a project, but a project you can drive and enjoy. So but for that reason, it's going to be a lot cheaper. It's got a 12 months ticket, which it flew through. Three and a half to four and a half, that one. So if your cloth is cut a little bit more frugally, this is the car for you. And I'm that person that's bought him. And welcome back to the channel. So I've had them now for, what did that video say? July, so almost a year now. And uh, let me just show you what we've done to, uh, to him. So I've replaced the rotten chrome bumpers with some black ones. And I think that looks really, really nice. And the safety catch for the bonnet was all rusted uh, so i've added the uh, straps on there so they're more function than fashion at the moment until i get a new uh, new um bonnet because the bonnet's all cracked and i'll show you that in a minute i've replaced the chrome wiper blades and wiper arms i've got rid of the the rusted um windscreen jets I have got the, the, the black rubbers to go on here, so they're, they're going to get changed as well. I've uh, changed the wing mirrors and put the new black uh, bullet ones on. They look really, really cool. It's nice to actually be able to see out the wing mirrors for a change, because the chrome ones that I had on it were all floppy and bouncing around everywhere. There's the new back bumper, nice and black with a, a new number plate. I do need to replace the one at the front because that's uh, all cracked. On the boot, I've added this uh, boot liner. Now, I do need to put more of these studs on. I only done a, every every couple just to get it on and fitted because uh, I was in a bit of a rush today, I was doing it. So I do need to go back in, uh, revisit that. And one of the things I bought was this boot liner. Now, I was going to buy one of those lining kits, you know, where it puts the carpet in all the way around the side and stuff, but I quite like the white, so I've put some sound deadening in here, underneath this as well. That just gives me that um, that sort of like usability over the, the, the battery and the, the spare wheel. Uh, I've also got me a uh, tool bag there, so that cost me a pound in the charity shop. And I've got my essentials here. So that was the clutch fluid I had to buy when we were in Landudno. Um, I've got my jump leads. Uh, I've got my waterproof Mac. Uh, a couple of snoods and some cloths there, just in case. That was the safety catch that, that's come off today while we've been doing some work. So we've put that back. And it's nice to actually be able to shut the boot and uh, lock it because uh, when we first bought the car, none of the locks and handles actually worked you never came with a key so it was nice to to do that um as you can see it's not shown very well on the auction video and it caught us out this paintwork's not the best it's flaking and coming away um so we have got a a friend who's been doing some work on lana's car and he's going to have a go at doing some work on Teddy for us. Okay, so we've now moved on to the inside of the car. And as you can see, the dashboard's not in the greatest of conditions. Um, so I have got a new dashboard, new dash rails, upper and lower to go in. Uh, one of the first things I did buy was the Bluetooth stereo. Uh, so we tried to keep it looking classic. Um, so we bought that one. I think that's that's a nice little touch. Uh, one of the things that we did invest in is a, a center console. 
down here. So the video is not the greatest because of the sun. Um, they, we did invest in a, a centre console there with a cigarette lighter. So we can actually plug something in in and charge the car. Uh, we are going to replace the third party uh, gear knob. That's going to get changed. One of the things we have done is the door cards. Now, the door cards look like a Union Jack sort of checkered pattern. So I've put this lovely black leatherette with red stitching through. Um, and Lana is super glued. Uh, Teddy from Mr. Bean on that side. And on the other side, there's the Mr. Bean. Um, and we've done it. Uh, alternate on the other side so that side's got Teddy and there's Bean on there so yeah we've done the door cards in here um, so that sort of makes it a little bit of a nicer place to be the ones on the back are the similar black with the red piping and I think it's it's starting to come along um, there's a little Union Jack pillar uh, cushion and I do need to fit that door card in there properly. But there's a better look at Teddy there. So that one needs to be fitted in. Now we have got the Mini 30 seats. The uh, special edition Mini 30s. But the seats aren't in the best of conditions. Uh, so I do need to replace the seats. I don't know if I'm going to get them recovered and reupholstered. Or just buy replacement seats. I do like the, um, the the red steering wheel. I think that's going to look really cool against the the gloss black uh, dashboard and the and the dash rails that match the door cards. I think that will look really really nice. Um, when I do replace the dash, I'm going to buy the phone holder that goes into the ashtray because at the moment I've got the phone holder there. As you can see, I've had a couple of goes trying to mount it on the the wing on the windscreen so i'm going to need to clean the windscreen but where i've got it now at the moment it gives me some great foot uh, a position for some great footage as you can see from from this bit here now so what's my plans for him um once he's done uh just really enjoy him really that's the plan like i say once i've got the interior done uh, we've got some of this paint work started as, as you see the roof's a little bit worse for wear uh, down the gullies this did have the chrome trim on here and I, I, I took that off because uh, like I say I'm trying to de-chrome them so that was one of the first things that went so I, I can get this all repainted uh, get the Uni Jack put back on it because I'm in two minds about it um, Lana likes the white and the blue but I like the black roof with like the silver sort of gunmetal grey Union Jack. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer. But yeah, I just can't wait to get out with this lot. We're all minis over the summer and go to all the different shows. And yeah, he's not he's not the prettiest of minis in in the club, but you know he's mine at the end of the day, and I, I just enjoy driving him. So we've talked about the cosmetic side of him now, the the interior and changing a few little bits. Now, the video says he's, he was good to run. Now, that wasn't strictly true. When I got him back, he was chewing through car batteries like there was no man's like no man's land or like no trouble to him. Turns out I had to replace his alternator, so the alternator wasn't working. Uh, so grain from Whirl Minis has helped me quite a lot here. We've replaced the alternator. Uh, as you can tell from the Whirl to Land Dudno, we had to replace the uh, slave cylinder on the clutch. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work with the carb at the back. So me um, fuel chamber has got a small cracking, so I need to replace that. We've replaced the fuel jet down there now I had the black one and as you can see if we now replaced it with the red one so that's had to be done uh, we were playing with the accelerator uh, cable today because as you can see it's a non-standard fitting down there 
Um, and he was a bit sluggish. Yeah, there's just so much to do. This is one of the first things I bought was the weather shield. And that came in so handy when I was trying to drive from in the, in the rain, in the, on the snow. Um, I wouldn't recommend driving <laughs> a classic Mini in the snow, but I had to do it at least once. Um, yeah, am I enjoying being a classic Mini owner? Um, considering my other car is that one. That one's got its own issues, but it's it's a different different beast altogether uh, when I'm come to doing it. But this one is gorgeous. I, I just love driving them. It's just so much fun. Great to look at, you know. The, it smiles all the way. And which of a car can you be driving at 40 miles an hour around country lanes and feel like you're in a rocket ship other than a classic Mini? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me in the tell me in the uh, the comments what you're thinking. Um, and as I say, please let me know if it should be a, a right roof with the red and blue Union Jack or black roof with the, the silver and grey. And I apologise the sun's causing mayhem with me camera focus. Um, and yeah, as you see, I got mine from Manor Park Classic. So go and check them out. Uh, you know, they do uh, an auction once a month and they have some really nice cars there. And they were dead easy to deal with. But yeah, for, for my my experience, yeah, he's he's definitely a project, but I'm looking forward to, to keep him running. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments. And if you see us around in the car shows, then please come and say hello. Right, see you soon. Bye-bye.